Five weeks from now, we will still be pretty much under uh, a type of lockdown that will not allow mass congregations of a thousand, two thousand people in our masajid. Nor would it be wise to do so uh, unless uh, something changes dramatically. If that is the case, uh, then we need to find uh, an alternative mechanism to keep our iman strong. The concept of having a Ramadan without the masjid, and without community, and without the jama'ah of people, it is alien to my cultural upbringing. That having been said, we have to be brave enough to acknowledge the Sahaba did not have Ramadan the ways we have Ramadan. There was no Taraweeh prayer in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. There were no community iftars that the world, 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 we are accustomed to. They would eat at home individually. They didn't have enough surplus food to have massive feasts. So in some ways, Perhaps we will have to rediscover the spirit of Ramadan as it really used to be. But the Sahaba themselves, they never prayed Taraweeh, by and large, other than two nights as we know. They never prayed Taraweeh in the time of the Prophet ﷺ in community. They would pray Isha, and then they would come home, and then they would pray Qiyamul Layl on their own. So we will have to rediscover the original spirit of Ramadan, and that is simplicity. Then tell your families, let's come together, families only, right? Not nobody from outside the house, families only. Every night, let's do something. Let's do a, a Quran circle, let's do Isha together, uh, maybe Taraweeh together or Taraweeh separately. But we encourage one another in the households to be able to rediscover the spirit of Ramadan. And you know, again, to be technical, uh, Taraweeh prayer is actually Tahajjud prayer. And the best time to do it is not right after Isha. The best time to do it is actually the last third of the night, which is before uh, Fajr. And if Allah wills that we are not going to work and we're working from home at that point in time, and if Allah wills that we're able to transfer a little bit of timing here and there, perhaps some of us can try to revive that spirit of Ramadan where we are praying Taraweeh as actual proper Tahajjud and Qiyamul Layl, where we wake up at 3 a.m. And we do uh, Qiyamul Layl and Tahajjud at that time. And then we have an Iftar. And then we have to go to work. And then we come back early, meaning work is going to be in our own houses, maybe even. Then come back early and sleep. And then sleep you know, in the afternoon, as was the Sunnah of the Prophet. So, in every single disaster and calamity, the believer finds the positives and finds the good.